Good morning, Senior Strength. My name is Leslie Bryan, and I am coming to you live from the YWCA. So I'm really excited to get to be here today to teach you a quick class, get you up and moving. So I want you guys to get on your feet. All right, we're just going to start with just a simple march. Let's just start marching up and down, pumping our arms. Just get slowly warmed up. We really miss you guys down here, and we're excited to bring this class to you. So keep those arms marching. All right. I want you guys to take your legs wide, wide, and in, in, out, out. Step in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, and go ahead and plant those feet right here. Take a deep breath in. Arms all the way up, exhale out, breathe all the way up, exhale all the way out, one more of those, breathe all the way in, all the way out, and bend deep, all right, we're going to keep marching, keep marching those feet, I want you guys, next we're just going to go ahead, just do some light, high knees. Let's get those knees up a little bit higher. And just go ahead, reach up, and press up, and press up. Or as high as you can get them. If you can't go all the way to the top, that's okay. Just get as high as you can. We're just gonna get a little bit of movement going in those shoulders. Make sure you keep those knees up. All right, arms, raise them up, raise them up. Raise them up, raise them up. All right, we're gonna bring them back down. Go back to marching. But now, we're gonna slow it down. We're gonna roll our shoulders out. Get those nice and warmed up. So go ahead and plant those feet, shoulder width apart. All right, I want you to roll those shoulders back. I want the upper back, shoulders, and chest. And that's what that looks like from the side. So you have an idea of just rolling them back, rolling them back. All right, and then I want you to take, we're gonna roll them forward now. So we're gonna make that a big circle with your elbow. Circle around, circle around. I'm gonna show you from the side. That's what that looks like. Just pretend you're having chicken wings and you're rolling them around. All right, okay. Now, we're going to just warm up our lower body real quick, swinging those legs out as much as you can. Make sure your knee is soft. And that's what that looks like, is your knee is slightly bent. Don't lock it out. We're just gonna get those hips slightly warmed up. Just extend as far as you can. And five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and the other side. Hands on your hips for balance. One, two, soft knee, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're just gonna do a little bit of these little, they're called butt kickers. We're just kicking our butts and just gonna slightly start rolling up that back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, and I'm going to show you what that looks like from the rear. So squeeze them back. Get those back muscles warmed up. Kick that booty. All right. If you guys are ready for a, a fun workout today, we're going to start, and we'll do the upper body, and then we'll do some core work with some leg work, and then we'll finish with some cardio. And gotta throw some balance in there too. So, all right, I'm going to just do some side taps. All right, a little bounce. There you go. Bend those knees. I wanna remind you as you're doing this workout, always engage the core. What is the core? How do I engage the core? I hear that all the time. I like to think of it 
it as. I'm telling you, put on a really tight pair of pants, zip it up. You're sucking in that belly. You're trying to bring that belly button to your spine. All right, so suck in the pants, zip them up, and that's how you're engaging your core. All right, so today, what I want you to need, what you'll need for equipment is some light weights. If you don't have light weights, water bottles are great, can of, can of beans, can of corn, peas and carrots, whatever you have, just a little bit of resistance because we need that, all right? And then I know everybody has got chairs, right? So we'll need chairs today. So we are going to get started. All right. So for our first set, we're gonna be doing wall push-ups because who wants to be on the ground? It's easier just to go ahead and do it on the wall. So what that's gonna look like is you're just gonna find a wall, all right? Your feet are slightly out, hands chest apart, and just a slight incline, and push back one, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For some fun part, I just want you to push your against the wall, just pulse. Five, four, three, two, hold, and done. Okay, and so for our next, we're gonna do some tricep kickbacks. So I'm gonna grab my weights. I want you to grab your can of beans or your water. All right, so I've got my weights. All right, so that tricep, that nice firm or not so firm part of your arm. All right, so we're gonna be bent over, the knees are soft, hinge over at the waist. All right, you're gonna keep your arms close to your sides. We're gonna push back one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, feel it, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Hold it, pulse, pulse, pulse. Ooh, should feel it back in your arms. And I want to make sure when you do this, because we'll do this. One more time, when you're kicking back, make sure those elbows are not kicked out like chicken wings this time. We want them nice and tight by your side. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do are some slow, high knees. So this sounds easy, and maybe it will be, maybe it won't be. If you have trouble with this, you're welcome to hang on to a chair. You wanna challenge yourself today? We're just gonna bring that up, down, up, down. Three and four and five and six, engage the core, seven and eight and nine and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. All right, so I hope you're ready for some fun. We're gonna do one minute of cardio, all right? So, okay, we're gonna get out our imaginary jump ropes, or if you have a real jump rope, good for you. So I'm just gonna use my imaginary jump rope because you know what, that is just fine. All right, so we're gonna jump rope for a solid minute. So get them out, you can do it a couple different ways. We're gonna start it right now and jump. You can do jump, jump, both feet. You can kick it out. Two, there you go. A little double dutch. <laughs> if anything today, I hope you guys just laugh at my video and just, and, and just get some movement and just exercise. Because even though I don't get a chance to see your smiling faces, I hope I'm making you laugh. All right, we're at the halfway mark right now. So I hope you guys are feeling good and warmed up because we're gonna do this, this circuit one more time. And again, double jumps, single, heel out. Just as long as you're having a good time and you're moving, that's the most important part. 
10 more seconds. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. We're going to grab, grab our wall again. Back to the wall for our wall push-ups, all right? So if you're feeling sassy and you think, I don't need that wall, you can't always get in your chair, all right? Important to gauge your core. I'll just give you an alternative this time. So, but if you don't want to get on your knees because maybe your knees aren't so great or you just don't want to get down, that's fine. Just always be sure and challenge yourself. So we're going to do 10 of these and down one and two and three and four and five and six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now we're going to come back to those tricep kickbacks. So grab your water, grab your weights, grab your cans. Even if you don't have any weights at all, just kicking back is great. So, all right, we're going to make sure you get in tight. Actually, I'm going to show you front view. Make sure you can see my elbows are not flopping out like chicken wings. You ready? We're going to push back one and two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, and hold it back and pulse it. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe your triceps are scribbing, maybe they're not, but either way, we're done with the tricep kickbacks. So put your weights down. Now we're gonna go into the slow high knees. Working the core, zip up the pants, zip. There we go. All right, so we're gonna do 20 total, because you know, gotta make it even, all right? So we're gonna hold it up. One, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, who's ready for some cardio? All right, we're gonna take our imaginary jump rope back out. Back out again. All right, for one more minute of cardio, reset our time and start jumping. Just knees up soft. I'm feeling sassy, same time. All right. Even better, you're gonna show me your stuff. Heels out, all right? I prefer this kind of jump rope. All right. Hope you guys are having fun and moving around. If you've enjoyed the videos the YWCA has been bringing to you and all the content that they've been trying to provide for you. All right, halfway mark. Keep it going. If you want to change your jump rope to double that. I'm really good at this kind of jump rope. All right. Just for a little bit though, all right? Okay, 10 more seconds. Keep it going. Don't lose it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, I'm gonna grab a quick drink of water. Grab your water. We're gonna go on to the next circuit. I hope you have your water nearby, right? If you had to pause me to go grab your water, that's okay too. All right. Okay, so this next section, we're gonna be doing bent over rows, bent over dumbbell rows, seated Russian twist, leg extensions, and more cardio. All right, so you're gonna grab your water or your dumbbells if you have them, or your cans of beans. All right, our bent over dumbbell rows. I'm gonna show you from the side. All right, so knees are soft, bend at the waist. All right, 
our palms are facing in toward each other. All right, and we're gonna just pull back and squeeze those shoulder blades. Two, three, four, five, engage the core. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so now we are going to go back into the chair and we're gonna do seated Russian twists. All right, so we're gonna grab our chair and actually what I want to show you is from the side, you have options, all right, so I would love for you to sit as far away from the back as you can because that way that forces you to engage more of your core and your back. All right. But if you feel like, you know, I'm not quite there, that's a okay. I'm fine with you, but to move a little further back. We're just working on moving. All right. So options on your feet, flat on the ground, up on your toes, or if you're really feeling sassy, you can bring it up. All right. So you're going to put your weights in front of you. All right. So there, knuckle to knuckle, right in the middle underneath your chest. And you're gonna twist over, twist one, and then the other way, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You'll notice I kept my feet, my toes up. Next time I may just be sassy and just go out. Okay, so since we're already in the chair, we're gonna do leg extensions. Now, you can do these one of two ways. You can use a weight and put it right there on your, just underneath like where your knee is, or you can just choose to not use it at all. So I'll show you not at all, but I really want you to get toward the, the edge of your chair. So right here, some, ah, no sloppiness, right? Stand up straight, sit up straight. Like they told you in school, young man, sit up straight. Or young lady, probably not you ladies, maybe just you guys, just kidding. All right, so we're gonna put our hands on our hips. We're gonna take up that left leg and we're just gonna extend it out. One, two, three, four, make sure your heel is flexed, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, put it down. Roll those shoulders back, sit up straight. Bring up that right leg and flex out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, this is just the end of the set, but what do we have to do? That's right, not we have to do, we get to do some cardio. All right, so we're gonna move our handy dandy chair out of the way, and we're gonna do speed skaters. So let's put your weights away. Okay, so speed skaters, think Olympic speed skaters, all right? So you're gonna reach down. You can touch the inside of your calf, you can touch the inside of your knee, you're just, Hopping back and forth, and that's what a speed skater looks like. You can go fast, you can go slow. Challenge by choice. All right, so we're gonna do one minute of that. Oh my gosh, you can totally do it, right? Okay, we're gonna go one minute on starting now. So side to side. And variations are just leg back, leg back, Love your arms up. If you want to lunge down, touch that inside of that leg. I'm working up a sweat today, y'all. But I'm glad to be here with you. It's a big old trip. I this content. Halfway there, you can do it. Or if you're going, I need to slow down, just reach behind. Or step. Right? Just as long as you're moving, because think of how good you're gonna feel after this is done, right? 10 more seconds. 
You can push through it, right? You can do it. You got this. And three, two, and one. Okay, back to the top. We're gonna grab our weights, our water, or our cans of beans. Whatever you have. Okay, so bend over dumbbell rows. I'm gonna show you from the front this time. Bend over, knees are soft. Back, hinge at the waist. Palms facing inwards. Making sure those shoulder blades kiss though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hold it back, pulse. One, two, three, four. Five, didn't think you could get away without a pulse on that one, huh? Just a little thing to throw in for you. All right, now we're gonna grab our chair again for our seated Russian twists. So, let me show you those straight on this time. Okay, again, you have choices. Feet flat, on toes, up in the air. It's your choice. Weights right underneath. Chest a little, maybe around your belly button area, wherever that belly button area may be. All right, and you're gonna rotate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew, all right. Okay, since we're seated, we're gonna go ahead and do our leg extensions because then we don't have to get up and down, up and down, although that is sometimes part of the workout. So, all right, so leg extensions. If you wanna put your weight on that leg, your extension, extending, you can, and just bring that heel, make sure your heel stays flexed. One, two, three, core tight, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, can't forget the right side or the left side, whichever side you started from. I'm gonna just go ahead and rotate to the side to make sure you you get the full the full picture, the full picture. All right, so the leg is up and kick out one, two, three, four, five. Heel flex six, toe flex seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, that's it on leg extensions. But we can't finish this circuit unless we have some cardio. So we're gonna move our weights out of the way, our chair out of the way, and go back into our speed skaters. All right. So again, this is whatever level you feel like you, you can do. You can go all the way up, touch that one. Push back, go really fast without the arms. Whatever you're doing, feel good about it. Maintain that core. Just keep moving is pretty much the answer, right? <laughs> or like Dory says, just keep swimming. Halfway there, we're gonna reach up. Kind of look like I'm swimming right now, don't I? <laughs> All right. You guys have 15 more seconds. You can do it, don't give up. All right. I'm glad you decided to take time and join me today for a workout. And done. Okay, again, grab your water. Okay. So you can pause me if you need to go get a drink of water, or pause me, or watch me drink. Okay, senior strength. We are ready for our next circuit today. I hope you're ready. Okay, this next circuit has 
bicep curls. And then we're gonna do some static lunges, which means one leg and then the other leg. And then we're gonna do some standing T's. So you see here I'm a T shape. And then we're gonna work on some balance and then we'll have cardio and I'll leave that for surprise. Okay, so go ahead and grab your water, your water, <laughs> your bottles of water, your weights or your cans of beans or corn or peaches or whatever you're using today. All right, so we wanna make sure our elbows stay tucked close to our sides. All right, hands, palms are facing forward. All right, roll those shoulders back, right, and one, and two, and three, four, core tight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two, one, keep them up, oh, let's go and pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I hope your guns are burning. All right, okay, so put your weights down. Now we're gonna go into some leg work. We're gonna do some static lunges, so I'm gonna show you that from the side. We're gonna go ahead, take our left leg back, bring back our right one. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see me. All right, so we're gonna just pulse down, one. You don't have to touch the ground, two. Just make sure your knee doesn't go over your toe. Three, core tight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, change sides. So, I'm gonna go ahead. Going to our right leg. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see all of my legs. That irritates me whenever I'm seeing an exercise video and I can't see their whole body. All right, so again, going down one. You don't have to touch the floor with that back knee. Two, just make sure it doesn't go over your toe. Three, four, five, six, squeeze up, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna try for some balance today. See how good your balance is. If you don't feel great in your balance, go ahead and grab your chair and bring it kind of close. That way you have it as a safety blanket or a safety net. But, but it's good to try without. So we're gonna try and balance on right leg for 30 seconds and left leg for 30 seconds, all right? And then we're gonna do some fun cardio because gotta have some cardio, right? Okay, so go ahead, get your balance. Let's try and have that knee soft, not locked. I want you to lock it out, I want you to have a little soft, all right? And go. All right. Who's feeling like it's a challenge already and grabbing the chair? It's okay if you do. It's okay if you steady yourself and then let go. And then steady yourself and let go. It's good to kind of challenge yourself to see, wow, how good is my balance? We're more than halfway there. See, I'm kind of wobbling myself. Tighten that core if you feel like you're gonna wobble. And five, four, three, two, one. All right. Now, can't leave out the left leg, right? So, go ahead and bring up. Well, get that right leg ready. And soft left knee. Whoa! You may actually find that one side is actually more wobblier or more sturdier than the other one. I have a more sturdy right side. I guess if I'm right-handed, more sturdy right, high, right side. So, whoa. And if you need to pick a spot to focus on, that can help you too. Just engage that core. You're almost there. And then you'll see, wow, I've got balance today on one leg. And done. All right. Now we gotta have our fun cardio coming up, right? Okay, so we're gonna do something called Korean jumping jacks. And how they're different from regular, regular jumping jacks, 
regular jumping jacks or outside to side. You did these in grade school, right? So Korean jumping jacks are just a little different. Um, the people also call these cross country skis. So we're gonna do this for a minute. You can take your choice. I happen to like, I happen to like these better than regular jumping jacks. <laughs> so whenever my instructors that I'm taking class from tell me to do uh, jumping jacks, I normally just do these. So, all right, we're gonna start for a minute of cardio. So you're gonna bring your arms up. Engage that core. I'll show you what it looks like from the front, right? Opposite arm, opposite leg, right? And modifications for this are just stepping back. This is good for so many things. Cross body, mind, just crossing, just making you think, making you think when you're working out. You're not on autopilot, right? You're like, how am I gonna do that? Sometimes if you get to go and really fast, you're finally like, oh, I'm doing this wrong. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Like I said, just keep moving. You have less than 10 seconds left. I know you're excited to get back to that circuit, right? And done with those, but we'll come back to them. Okay, so back to our bicep curls. So grab your dumbbells, bottles or cans. All right. Okay, so again, feet shoulder width apart and our hands are facing to each other. All right, actually we're gonna face our palms out, roll those shoulders back, gauge that core. You ready? We're gonna push up one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, stay at the top, pulse it down, pulse halfway, one, two, three, four, five, and release. Just a little extra on those biceps, right? Okay, now we're gonna go to our static lunges. So put your weights down, all right. So I'll show you from the front. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our left leg. Left leg is forward, right leg is back. All right, making sure that knee doesn't go over the toe. All right, no, no torquing any knees. One, and push up two with the booty. Three, four, knee does not have to touch the ground. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, all right, step back with that other leg. Okay, so our right leg comes forward, our left leg goes back, squeezing up with our gluteus, maximus, minimus, or lotimus. All right, so we're gonna go down and drive up, squeeze up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10. I totally left that your back, your, your standing tees while ago. So we're gonna do those. All right, so we are gonna grab our weights, shoulders, our back. All right, and if you have shoulder issues, just no weight at all is fine. You just go as high as you can and one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and I'll come back and give you one more of those, but we're gonna do some Korean jumping jacks or cross countries, all right? Okay, so. Get our stopwatch so we know how long we're doing this for. All right, and you can go. All right, so this is what it looks like from the front, from, from this angle, from this 
first angle. All right. Opposite arm, opposite leg. If you need to know, have no bouncing, no cardio, you just do opposite arm. There you go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. If your arm can't go all the way up, just as high as you can get it. All right. We're going to finish this circuit with another set of, of the T's. Just work on those shoulders today, right? I know I could always use more shoulder work. All right. Whoop, see I did that wrong. Whoop, there we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, grab your weights or whatever you're using for weights. Okay, feet are together. Core is tight. Shoulders are back. All right, bring it up. See the letter T? One. Right by your sides. Two. And three. And four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And you're done with that third circuit. So, all right. So grab a quick drink. I know I am. All right. This is your last and fourth circuit today. So we're gonna do shoulder presses. So dumbbells, weights, water bottles, whatever you have, over. Now this one can be tricky. You just wanna go up just a little ways? That's okay. We're just trying to get those shoulders to move. Okay, then we're gonna do elbows to knees. So some cross body, core, engage those lats, actually making you think there. And then we're gonna do some calf raises and we'll do those three different ways. So, and then we're gonna have a little bit of cardio because we gotta end with cardio, right? All right, so go ahead and grab your weights. All right, now you do have an option if you would prefer to do these seated if you're getting a little winded, you can grab a chair. I'm gonna go ahead and stand for this one. I want you to go ahead, just feet shoulder width apart. Your weight's right by your ears. All right, so we're gonna push up. One, engage the core. Two, three, you guys can probably feel this through your core. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, again, if you can't go all the way up, you can just go a little ways, that's okay. 10, all right, now we're gonna drop our weights. Okay, so you can put your hands behind your head if your shoulders will allow that. If that's not, if your shoulders say no thank you, just bring them forward and just twist your knee. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Now, here's for those fun calf raises. And you may want to go ahead and grab your chair. if you feel a little off balance. So, the first way we're gonna do these, and I'm just gonna show you, so I know you can see my feet, just straight forward. So feet are just shoulder width apart. You're just gonna go up on your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay, I lied, we're gonna do 10 more of those. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so we're still doing calf raises. You're probably just gonna love me. Okay, so this is what I call, you're gonna make like the letter V, or I like to call it the no place like home. 
position because Dorothy, there's no place like home. She clicks her heels together, right? And of course you guys have been home for a long time so you may feel like, no, there is really no place like home. <laughs> All right, so grab your chair. This makes you feel a little awkward, but so your heels are touching and you're just squeezing up. One, up on your toes, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, you can do it 18, 19, 20. Okay, shake out those legs for a second. Kick those heels up, stretch those calves if they're on fire. All right, because we have one more set of these. All right, so, so the last one we did, the no place like home calf raises. So this time, I would like to do the letter V calf raises. These next ones are the letter A, your toes. People want me to call these pigeon toes. Point your toes into each other. All right, if your knees are not a fan of these, just keep your feet straight. So we're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, whoo. Hope you say, lovely, you're killing me today. Hope you're sweating hard like I actually am right now. So, but we can't complete this circuit unless we have some cardio. So we're just gonna do a little jogging in place. If you prefer to dance, that's okay with me because personally, <laughs> I love to dance. So we're gonna do a minute of that. So you can jog in place or you can dance depending on whatever music you have going on. So we're gonna get ready, jog in place or dance. All right, I'm just gonna jog in place until I hear a good, Good song and now I'm gonna start dancing to it, right? Just get moving. You wanna march in place? You can just march in place. You can just, you can sidestep. All right, just keep it moving, keep it moving. All right, now you guys are having fun with me today at home. If you could watch this video on YouTube, I'm gonna give you like a double, triple thumbs up because you know, sometimes technology when you're older, it's not always easy. It's not always easy for me. <laughs> so you get my props if you're watching this at home on the YouTube channel. All right, you can kick those feet up, get that cardio going, get that heart rate up if you're feeling sassy today. All right, you're halfway there. All right, just get moving. Just keep swimming. You can even just swim. You can even just swim. That's fine with me. Like I said, as long as you're moving. All right, 10 more seconds. I know you think you're dying. You got this. You got this. You can keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. And you can say, whew, Leslie, that was a long cardio. Okay. All right, we get to repeat this again. So we're gonna do our shoulder press. So grab your dumbbells. All right, feet just shoulder width apart, arms up. Think like a goal post. Arms can go as high as you can get them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. All right, let's put those weights back on the ground. Okay, our next one, our last one for this one, is gonna be our elbows to knees. All right, so again, remember, if you can get your hands behind your head, props to you. If you can, or if you just sort of choose not to and say, Leslie, I'm not gonna do that, <laughs> then here is fine. Just be sure you're twisting across that midline. All right, this is almost like walking and chewing bubble gum, you know, and three and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14,
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, calf raises. I have a confession. I'll cut these in half for you this time, okay? Versus giving you 20, 20, 20. That's 60 calf raises. You may be just die hating me tomorrow if you've done that many calf raises. So we're gonna cut those in half and just do 10, 10, and 10. All right, so grab your chair if you feel like you need some balance. All right, feet are just straight forward. Just going up. How about I show you pacing the chair? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're gonna click our heels together and say there's no place like home. We may say there's no place like the YWCA. I know, I'm pretty corny. <laughs> I hope I made you laugh today, if anything. All right, so get those heels together. You're making that letter V. We're just thinking Dorothy. And go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There is no place like home. Okay, now we're gonna change our angle of our toes. Our toes are gonna go in toward each other. Think like the letter A or pigeon toes. All right, heels are out. If your knees are saying no thank you, just keep your feet straight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You can say, Leslie, I'm so tired of those calf raises. All right, but we can't enter the circuit unless we do some cardio. So I'm gonna move my chair out of the way. I'm gonna grab my stopwatch. And again, you can jog in place. You can kick up your heels. Just whatever feels good, all right? We're gonna start for one more minute. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. The YWCA misses you. And we hope that we can all be together soon, safely and healthy, right? So, but until then, who knows, you may get to see me doing another senior fitness video, right? <laughs> All right. I hope you're having a good day. We're almost ready for cool down. You say, thank goodness, right? All right, we're halfway through this cardio. So later today, whenever you eat that pint or that small scoop of ice cream, maybe a dip cone, you won't feel near as guilty because you Done some exercise today. And almost done. See, I'm gonna do a jump rope from a, from a jaw, right? Three, two, and one. All right, so grab a drink of water. I know I am. Okay. Now we're gonna go into our cool down. Put that water aside. Now, our heart rate has just been up. So we're not just gonna start just laying on the ground. We're doing any of that business. We're gonna slowly bring it down. All right, because I know my heart rate's up from all that exercise I was doing. So I wanna slowly bring it down. So just mark and crunch in place. Pump those arms. You can do it slowly, slowly. We can go ahead and do some butt kickers with this. Just slowly bring that heart rate down. You guys may feel your heart rate going ahead and going down. So that's a good sign. You got it up for the cardio. Now we're gonna bring it down slowly with the cool down, right? Slowly get it down. Okay. Side taps. We're gonna go ahead and reach across. Just slowly though. Stretch out those shoulders, right? There we go. All right. Slow. We're gonna reach down. Get the heart rate down. Okay. Now we're just gonna sidestep. Sidestep. 
should her rate should feel not quite back to normal, but close. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just do some stretching because it is super important. Talking to myself. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and roll those shoulders back. Roll them back. Roll them back. Get them stretched out. You can go ahead and clasp your hands behind your back. Push through your chest. And if you want to go ahead, bring that right ear. Drop it to your shoulder. Oh, I think that feels good for me today. All right, bring your chin to your chest. Oh, that feels awesome. Hope it feels awesome for you too. Go ahead and bring your left ear to your left shoulder. See what that looks like. All right, oh, that feels good. Go ahead and bring your hands in front of you. I want you to clasp. Thread your fingers clasping forward. Push through your upper back. Stretch out that upper back. I think I'm really bad about not stretching it out, so I know. Maybe you're better. Hopefully you're better than I am. All right. We're going to go ahead and stretch those hamstrings. So I want you to kick out your right leg. Sit back on your left. Show sure what that looks like from this angle. All right, you should feel that stretch right back in your hamstring. And just you reach down. I always say hi to my toes. I can usually touch them by now. And it feels awesome. Get that stretched. Yes. Stretch out those, those hamstrings. Mine are always so tight. Okay, so staying on the same leg, we're going to keep our left leg forward. We're going to take back our right leg into a lunge. What I want you to do is I want you to push your pelvis forward like that, drop down, and you should feel that in your hip flexor right there. That is an area that does not often get stretched. So just, just a slide dip, not all the way down, but just stretching out that hip flexor. All right, stretching that. Now we're going to go ahead and keep that same leg back. But now, see my heel is up on that one, I want you to push it to the ground, and ooh, you should feel that in your calf. You can push it up, you can bring that knee forward and push it back as much as you can. And tomorrow, whenever you're hating me because your calves hurt so bad, you can do some more of these stretches like this, right? <laughs> Hopefully you won't hate me tomorrow. All right, now we're gonna change sides. Okay, so we're gonna kick back. We're gonna actually kick up this left leg, bringing up those, those toes. You say hi toes. Oh, you should be able to feel that in your hamstring. And dip as low as you can. If you can't, just, just till you feel that stretch, right? Don't stretch too hard. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go to that hip flexor. So that left leg goes back, that right leg is forward. Remember, we're gonna push our pelvis forward, we're gonna drop down. Ooh, you should feel that right in that hip flexor area. Just a light, light stretch. Just push that pelvis forward. Hope you guys are sweating like I am today. Sweating it up. Feels good. Feels good when you've had a good sweat, right? All right, now we're gonna stretch off that back calf, so we're gonna keep that same position, but then we're gonna Push that heel to the ground. Two. Oh, that should feel good. Three. It feels good to me. <laughs> Five. Six. All right. Let's not forget to stretch out our, our shoulders. So go ahead and take that left arm across and stretch out those shoulders. Right. I always say wave to your neighbor. <laughs> so if you're doing this with a friend, wave to your friend. All right. And then go ahead and take that right arm across, stretching the same way, grabbing with your left arm. Yes, feels good, right? All right. All right, and then I want you to, now we're gonna stretch our triceps. So bring up the right arm, grab it with our left arm, and just pull back. If that does not agree with you, that's okay. Just slowly stretch, slowly stretch. All right, then go ahead. But if it does agree with you, go ahead. Get that left arm up, grab with the right, my right anyway. 
Stretch that out. And you should be completely cooled down and so totally flexible today. So again, my name is Leslie Bryan and I am so glad I got to join you today for Senior Strength. So I hope to see you again. Hope to see your faces up at the YWCA really soon. Thanks.